All right, friends. We got a jazz-filled, fun-filled Andy Dance and HLC happening here tonight. We're going to skip the sock walks. We're going to start on our backs. We're going to start with some ball rolls. We'll get into some different exercises. Have some fun along the way. All right. Our first exercise is going to be our ball rolls. So how that looks. Oh, we know this. We've done this. Is you're going to hug. Hug those knees like you really care, like you really love yourself. And you're just going to lean back and roll into that spine and then roll all the way back up. You don't need to roll to your feet. That's counterintuitive. We just want to roll on that spine. Think about getting about 10 reps. Just 10 reps. We're just rolling, moving and grooving. We got to be kids every once in a while. No Andrea tonight, so we don't have anybody to tell us no music. My space bar doesn't work on my computer, so I couldn't find any songs or music artists. All right, from here, we're into our overhead lean. So we're nice and tall in the single leg position. Remember, our hands are overhead. We're just going to lean to the right and then lean to the left. Big leans, big movements, big stretches. That's what we want. Oh, it's like it's morning time. You're yawning. Oh, good morning. Or I guess good night, maybe. Big stretches. We want to tackle at least 10 times. So that makes about five aside. Big, big, big stretches. And good. Nice. When you've done your 10, we're going to zip through this warm up because we know some of these. And I know our crew tonight. We're into our adductor rock. So for those who don't remember, we start in this position. From here, you take your outside leg, whichever leg you want, you extend it out so your foot is down, right? From here, you're going to tuck that back toe. You can kind of see it under my leg with my white shoe, but I tuck that toe. I'm going to lean back into my, my hip so my glutes are touching my heel. I'm going to feel that all on the inside of my leg. From here, we come back up. That's one. We're going to do 10 of those. Two and so forth. Good stretches. If you're not really feeling it and it's not for you, what you really need to do is elevate that foot. So bring that foot up. That'll intensify it a little bit, but I don't have the demonstration tools to do that, nor the adductors. Well, that's food, food for thought for you. When you've done 10 reps, you got to switch sides. That's important. Good. Switch to that other side. Same exact thing. Stretch out, tuck that toe, sit back into that hip, feel a good stretch. Two, three, good. A little fun fact for all of our friends out there, but um, I forgot what I was going to say. I lost my mind. I'm losing my mind slowly but surely. I found a piece of rice on the ground, so I got that. That's a fun fact but I don't even remember what I was going to say. I am lost in translation. Awesome. When you've gotten 10 reps here, we're going to do a little bit of some T-spine rotation. So I'll call this a shin box. And this is a new one for you. So you're going to sit just like this. So for those that remember, Charlie, this is for you, but you remember your 90-90s. We often got in this position. You're going to now take that front leg and you're going to bring it in nice and close. So you kind of make a little bit of a triangle. From here, you're just going to lean to the side, kind of like you're taking a photo, like smile. From here, you're going to take that right hand and you're going to slide it under. So I'm going to try to touch whatever's behind me, the wall. Big reach. And then I'm going to open up really wide. Remember, bonus points of your hand, your eyes follow those hands. Reach, 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 reach. Big stretch. And then open up nice and wide. So you got five aside. So big reach. The bigger the reach, the better the stretch. The more what we call bang for your buck. Good. Nice. When you've done five, you owe yourself it to do the same thing on the other side. So that's foot down, foot in, lean to the side, big reach forward. Open up nice and wide. Big reach forward. Open up nice and wide. Good. Kind of a slow moving, but 
very effective exercise. Awesome. Oh, from here, we're into what I call cross connects. We, we've done them before. We're going to do them again. I need to give you, I need to see what I'm doing here because I can't see. All I see is half my screen. All right. So cross connects. My right elbow is going to touch my left knee and we just alternate each side. We're going to shoot for tennis reps aside. That'll be 20 total, but we got to work across that body. These are called standing cross connect. So just elbow gently touches the knee. It works on a little bit of balance. It works on some rotation. After this, we got what's called a child squat. That's one of the cool things. Awesome. When you've done 20 reps or 10 each side, I'll show you what's next. Coming up next is what's called a child squat. Why it's called that, I'm not sure. But you stand nice and tall like so. You're going to bend down. Your hands are going to go under your toes. From here, you're going to drop your butt down as deep as you can go. When you've gotten down that deep, you're going to lift up your hands and you're going to stand up. And we'll call that one. And we're going to do five of those. So just a reminder, bend down, lock the hands under the toes, drop the butt to the ground like a child, lift, push through the floor. Good. Nice job. Squat down, lift, push through the floor. Good. I'm gonna go one more, all the way down, tuck that hand under, drop your butt to the floor, lift nice and high, push. Hey, we need to stretch out those hips just a little bit. All right, last but not least, I wanna work on some lateral lunges, some shifting positions, shifting into those hips. So your feet are gonna be nice and wide. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna to touch the inside of my left foot. And then I'm going to stand up and I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to touch the inside of my right foot. I want you to shift your weight backwards. All right. We're just going to do 10 of these. So you shift your weight back, touch your foot. Keeping those legs nice and spread. Legs are spread. I touch, 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 touch. Good. When you've done 10 reps, get yourself some water. We're going to dive into a workout. That was a quick warm up for us per usual here at HLC. Let's see what we got. We got, we got 11 friends on, 11 of us. So that means we're doing 11 reps. No. Nope. All right. So we got five exercises. We're going to piggy bank off the week before last. Um, or last week too. We're going to have some fun. All right. So we have reverse lunges. Oh, I'm losing my mind here. All right. So we have reverse lunges. We have IYTWs. We got inchworms. We got push ups. We got high knees. And we got heel heavy Russian twists. So some of you guys might remember that. Some might not. But don't worry. I got you. All right. So Reverse lunges. What I want to do is I want you to start in this position and I want you to drop your knee really fast and catch it and then stand back up. So we're working on some speed, but better yet, let's change it a little bit. I'll, 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 we want to pull on the brakes. So you're going to kind of hop, hop in place and then you're going to catch yourself. So you're going to hop, catch, right? If that makes any sense, I hop in place, say two or three hops, drop down and catch. Hop in place, we're gonna alternate legs. Drop down and catch, right? That's important because we wanna build those breaks. When we can build those breaks, your sport is so much better. You're faster, you're stronger because you can slow down. So work on the nice gentle hops. Notice I'm not hopping too high. Someone says drop and you drop into that split squat position. If you're not into the hops and the drops and this isn't for you, feel free to regress. Feel free to go into our normal split squat position or you could do reverse lunges but we're gonna do five aside, so 10 total. Hops, someone says drop, you drop. Hop, someone says drop, you drop. You're hopping, 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 
Drop into that split squat. Just like that. Awesome. When you've done your 10, I completed 10. We're going to be belly down on the floor for our IYTWs. For those who do not remember from last week, I will show you a reminder. Hands go towards the stars. You can't see it. Uh, yeah, you can't see my thumbs. My thumbs are up. I'm giving you all thumbs up. My head is relaxed. I'm going to lift up without lifting anything else of my body. I come back down. That's the I. Y, we make a Y. T, I come out for a T. And then W, I bring my elbows down, kind of like I'm going to do a push-up. Lift up those elbows, drop back down. So that's I, Y, T, W. Just a reminder. I, Y, T, and W. I, Y, T, and W. Simple solution. We just got four rounds of that. I, Y, T, W. When you've done four rounds of that, we are switching. I keep forgetting what we're doing. That's my issue. We got inchworms push-ups. Okay. So we're going to do four inchworms as well. That builds off one from last week. For those who don't know inchworms, Coach Max is one of his favorite exercises. But all you're going to do is you bend down to the ground. You walk your hands out as far as you can. You walk those hands back. And then you stand up and that's one. If that makes you a little bit lightheaded, you don't really like that. I, you just let me know and I will show you a different version. So hands to the ground. We walk that out as far as we can. We'll walk those hands back. Maybe we'll call this a hand walk all the way back. That's two, all the way down, all the way out, all the way back. That's three, uno mas, one more, all the way out, all the way back, and we stand up. When you're done, we're gonna do 10 push-ups. So that's either push-ups on the ground, as I always say, a couch, a chair, a bench, a bed, any elevated surface, you got 10 push-ups on the line. So I'll do them on the ground for you. Just a reminder, please don't stick your butt up like J-Lo. Please tuck your hips towards your chin. We work on this. Tuck those hips. Elbows go back for one, two. Don't lose that tuck. When you lose it, don't forget about your abs. Ten. Whew. I haven't done ten push-ups in a while. Yeah. Nice job, Christian. Well done, buddy. All right, from here, we're into 40 high knees. 40 high knees. Oh my God. 40 of them. That's 20 aside. Ready, set, let's go. Remember to get those knees up nice and high. Get the arms moving. Good job. Steps work too. Or you jump, you choose. We got 40 of them. Nice job. Kind of running in place. Whew. That's 40. Boy. You guys got me sweating or, sweating already. When you're done, we're on the ground. If you remember our heel heavy Russian twist. So traditional Russian twist, you'll often see in a gym is those as legs up, right, and you're kind of twisting side to side. But we can make it a little bit better by drilling your heels into the ground. So you need to push down in the ground with your heels. That turns on your hamstrings. I want you to keep those hamstrings turned on by pushing down. While pushing down, you're gonna touch one side right, touch your other side left. Don't forget to push down on those heels. We're just gonna do 10 a side, 20 total. Touching, cool. Heels pushing, push down with those heels. I feel this right in my abs as I rotate. I'm only at 10, 11, 12, big rotation. Remember, heavy heels, push down those heels. That should get you more abs. You could thank me later. And 20. Oh, when you've done 20 reps, Take a breather, catch your breath. 
We're going to tackle another round. Oh. My heart rate's beating. If you look closely, you probably could see it. If I put it by the mustache, maybe the mustache will beat. Nope, doesn't do it. I gotta get beaten harder, right, Charlie's? Right. I see. <laughs> All right, friends, we got 40 seconds. We're gonna start again. Same kind of hops we did before, right? Remember the little bounces and you, you imagine someone says drop and you gotta drop into that decelerative position. So it's like quick little bounces and then someone kind of pulls the floor out from under you. And that's important because when someone's behind you in sport and they push you, you're going to be, your brakes are going to be ready. So you're going to be able to absorb some good forces. That's important. Or you're sprinting really fast or swimming really fast. And you got to slow down after you blow through that finish line. These that's where these brakes really help. Who's hanging out with us in my ears right now. Somebody's hanging out. All right. From here. All right, guys. Our 40 seconds is up. We got to start with our reverse. So we got to start with all of our stuff again. Oh. All right. We got our hops to our split squats. Remember, round two, I move a little bit quicker. We'll see our timing after this. Here we go. We got five aside, 10 total. Hop, 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 hop. Someone says drop. We drop and pause. Hop, 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 hop. hop. I'm going to switch my legs. Drop and pause. Hop. Drop and pause. Good. Hop. Nice. Nice job. Excellent. Small hop, small hops, drop. Remember, if dropping isn't for you, right? You could do reverse lunges. You could do split squats. Either one of those options. 10 reps total. That makes 10 for me. Oh, I already forgot what's next. Oh, we got our IYTWs. I remember. Chest down, head down, but you can't hear me if I put my head down like this. So your head's got to go to the ground. Hands are outstretched up front. I'm going to back up so you can kind of see me. Hands are stretched out up front, thumbs towards the ceilings. You're going to lift up I. Y, T, W, big stretch forward, I, Y, T, W, reset, I, T, W, I, Y, T, and W. That makes four, good for the shoulders. From here, we're into inchworms. Remember, hand walks. Walk that hand out as far as you can go. Walk those hands back. Uno. Dos. Walk those hands out as far as you can. Inch them back. Tres. Last one. Uno mas. Mis amigos. I think. I think that's right. Spanish. Janet would know. Yes. <laughs> F4. Yeah. I was supposed to say one more, my friends. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's four reps there. From here, right? We're into 10 push ups. You could do them on a floor. If you need to elevate that surface, I will give you a great option. I will show you what that might look like if you have forgotten. So you'll see my bench in my downstairs basement. You'll see my bench here. From here, right, I have elevated my surface. So I stretch out my push-ups this way. I can come down, push back up for one. This is going to make it from the floor. It's not as hard as on the floor. So we got to play to your strength, not mine. But here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, yeah. Oh, check out the guns. All right. 
when you've done your 10 push-ups, you've you've uh, you have earned yourself a chance to do 40 high knees. That comes next. So we're gonna do 40 high knees. Here we go. In three, two, one. Just get those knees up, get that heart rate up, get everything moving. Remember, if high knees aren't for you, you could just do steps. But if you want to get the engine going, I'm okay with it. Nice job, Andy. All right? You could do your dances here, right? Like we could do whatever we want. You could do speared fingers. You just get your high knees going. <laughs> nice job. All right, when you're 40 or up, we're back on the ground for those Russian twists. But they're not just traditional Russian twists, right? They call them heel heavy because I want you to really emphasize putting those heels into the ground. So I'm aggressive. I'm putting my heels down. You'll see my hamstrings turn on at my legs. When I relax them, they don't really turn on. So heel heavy, tap, tap. Oh. I'll challenge you to kind of gaze in front of you. Nice. Remember those heels are heavy. And 20. Oh, nice job. All right, I'll set the timer, get a quick rest. Make sure you're drinking some form of water. That's important. Good sip of water and we're gonna tackle one more round. No cool down today, we'll just, do our walks and be done, but we got another round of fun. I'm trying to make my eyebrows look like my mustache and it quite doesn't work as well as I want it to. Right, Charlie, still look at me like that. We could pin we could. Janet with her mustache. mustache. Look at that, whose mustache is better? I think Janet said it is. Oh. All right. How I un. All right, friends, we got 30 more seconds. We're going to tackle one more round. Make sure you're doing it with me. Exercise is fun. Exercise is important. I know maybe you've already worked out today, but guess what? A little exercise didn't hurt anybody. Uh, you know who I'm talking to. Um, if it's you, maybe you got you to work. If it's not you, then cool, ignore what I'm saying. All right, that makes 30 seconds. <laughs> that means it's time to rock and roll for that third and final round. I am gonna move a little bit quicker. So you're gonna have to either keep up with me or work at your pace. Don't feel like you have to, injury is not our goal. Being elite, being independent, intelligent and decisive is our goal. So you make your own choices. You guys are strong, independent individuals. Here we go, quick hops into our squat. So hop, 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 think about three hops, drop. Hop, 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 alternate those legs, drop. So nice and bouncy, there she is. There's the queen of HLC doing her work. Hop, quick hops, drop. Nice job, athletes. I see some good movement. I see some good split squats, excellent. When you've done your 10 hops, when you've done your 10 hops, or you're not your 10 hops, your 10 split squats, we're into our IYTW. So that means you're on the ground. We got Aaron commenting per usual, coming live from Bakersfield. Thumb towards the stars, head down, drive up one, I, Y, T, W. Really good shoulder health. If you're a runner, if you're a swimmer, biker, anything that requires your shoulder, human, these are really important. Keep your chest on the ground if you can. I, Y, T, W, I, Y, T, W. Four reps completes me. Now I'm going into my inchworm. Same four rep or deal. Hand down or my hand walks. Try to walk those hands out absolutely as far as you can where you're just about to fall flat on your tummy. Walk yourself back. Uno. Dos. 
Mis, amigos, big step out. Oh, feel those abs. Nice. That's three. One more, friends. Down. Lock those hands out. Lock those hands back. When you've done your four inchworms, you owe me 10 push ups, right? Remember, floor, I gave you an option on a bench, a couch, a chair, however you see fit in your environment. Don't work in my environment, work in your environment. We got 10 of them. One, two, three. Make sure you're coming all the way up, all the way down. Full ranges. Good. And 10. When you've done 10, we've earned ourselves high knees. 40 of them. Three. I'm not even going to count down. You just work at your interval. I'm going to get going. If you're up to the high knees, you're doing 40 of them. Ramp up up a little bit. Get the pace smooth in. Already done, just like that. When you're ready, we're into those Russian twists. So that's that heel heavy, 20 reps, so 10 aside. Feeling your abs on that rotation. Get all your reps in today. Make your goal. And in HLC, I do all my reps. When you've done your 20 reps, you've earned yourself a cool down. You guys got me sweating today. And for those that wanna know, I've already worked out twice. This is the third time. This is the third time. If I can do it in my old age of 74, you guys could do it too. We got a minute of just walking around. I can barely talk. Allowing your heart rate to drop, breathing in and out through the nose. Catching your breath. Nice job. Remember, you can try different types of walking patterns. Right? Like I always say, we can do our electric slides, right? There is, so that is also an active recovery, right? Kick, step behind, tap, right? So anything you kind of want to do in these active recovery is fair game other than get your heart rate up. The goal is to lower it. And you got to do this after competition, after practice. Don't talk like me. Just be quiet and just move. Try to breathe in and out through your nose. Just a reminder, when life is tough and you're high, your heart rate's high and you're breathing, remember, we got to recover here. What a cool could say this is money in the bank, money in the game. That's where we want to be. That's going to be a faster recovery than the traditional. Boy, we don't want this. All right, friends, that concludes the world famous, the infamous, the best, the coolest, the most jazzed up HLC ever to walk on planet Zoom.